Hello and welcome to this lecture on TOPSIS. This is a very useful and well-known method for multi-attribute decision-making problems. The full form of TOPSIS is Technique for Ordered Preference by Similarity to Ideal Solution. The steps involved in TOPSIS method will understand with the help of a problem. The problem in this problem, a decision maker has to be given four options and on the basis of four attributes, the decision maker has to select one car. So we'll solve this problem using TOPSIS method step by step. So step number one. Step number one is convert the linguistic terms in numeral. So here we can see that comfort and looks are given in linguistic terms so these needs to be converted into numeral values so i have considered here a scale of one to five where one is average two is good and three is very good excellent four outstanding is five for good is given two and similarly for good uh, this is again good two excellent is four from this table Excellent is 4, average is 1. In the similar way, looks are also converted into numeral values. Average is 1, good 2, and this is excellent. So, excellent is 4, and average is 1. So step number 1 is completed here. Step number 2. Step number 2 is, to we have to make sure that attributes are either monotonically increasing or monotonically decreasing. If non-monotonic, attributes are involved then we convert them into monotonic attributes by some suitable methods step number three normalization vector normalization that is the normalization based on Euclidean distance is used for all criteria that means for benefit as well as for cost for all criteria same formula is used we do not take inverse rating for cost attributes for all the attributes we should take the same formula so r i j equal to x i j divided by under root of summation i equal to 1 to m the number of uh, criteria x i j whole square this is the formula for normalization First, we calculate the summation of x summation of x i j whole square like I have calculated for this. So this is given like this 4 square plus 8 square plus 10 square plus 3.5 square that comes out to be 192.3. Next, I need to calculate the under root of this. So under root of this is 13.87 and I wrote 13.87 here in this way. Similarly, we did it for this fuel efficiency for comfort and for loops once this is calculated now x i j divided with this value like 4 divided by 13.87 8 divided by 13.87 10 divided by 13.87 this thing 3.5 divided by 13.87 similarly if I go for this, then 15 divided by 32.03, this is 32.03. So this divided, all divided by 32.03. For comfort, we divide all attribute by 5. And for looks, all attributes are divided by 4.69. Once this is calculated, we obtain, the obtained matrix is known as normalized decision matrix. So this matrix is known as normalized decision matrix for all values I have placed here that is in decimal form so this matrix is known as normalized decision matrix weight calculation of attributes if weights are given then no need to go for this step if weights are not provided to us then we use any appropriate method to calculate weights one of the method to calculate weight is AHP analytic hierarchy process which I have already discussed in my previous lectures for details you can watch that video so for time being, I'm considering the weights for price 0.4, for fuel efficiency 0.2, comfort 0.1, and looks 0.3. Step number five, find normalized decision matrix V. Normalized decision matrix capital V. So to get that, 
we have to write the weights at the topmost row 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 and 0.3. Vij is calculated Wj weight into that normalized value. So weight into the normalized value, weight into the normalized value, weight into the normalized value, weight into the normalized value. Similarly, we done for all attributes like here weight is 0 0.2, so 0 0.2 into the normalized value, 0 0.1 into the normalized value. Similarly, we have calculated for uh, complete matrix. So 0 0.29 multiplied by 0 0.4 comes to be 0 0.116. So we write here. So this table is known as this matrix is known as weighted normalized decision matrix capital V. After calculating this, step number six, categorization of attributes. Categorize them into the benefit attribute and cost attribute. Benefit attributes are those attributes in which more value is preferable, like fuel efficiency. We need more fuel efficient car. Comfort, we need more comfortable car. We go for more looks. So looks, comfort, and fuel efficiency, these are benefit criteria. Cost attributes are greater the attribute value, less its preference. So that is cost attribute price is a cost attribute because we next step is the calculation for ideal best and ideal worst so once the v is calculated this is v weighted normalized matrix this is our v one more row is introduced here that is type ideal best and ideal worst solution is calculated for each column ideal best is the ideal best means the best value out of these available options so best value means for price price is a cost attribute in case of cost best value will, will be the lowest one so lowest value is 0.1 so this will be the best in case of cost attribute ideal was to be the highest in case of cost this will be the highest because the attribute is cost so 0.288 for fuel efficiency this is a benefit attribute so for benefit attribute ideal best best will be the highest value so this is 0 0.106 we'll write 0 0.106 here and the ideal worst will be the lowest value because this is the benefit attribute similarly for this is also benefit attribute the highest value will be the ideal best and the lowest value will be the ideal worst this is also benefit attribute highest value will be the ideal best and the lowest value will be ideal worst this is denoted by vj negative and ideal best is denoted by vj star or sometime it is also denoted by vj plus in some uh, later set you can find vj plus also. we calculate this step number eight now ideal separation is calculated ideal set the value of ideal separation this is is positive and negative two type of positive ideal separation is just known as ideal separation or sometime it is also known as positive ideal separation and negative ideal separation for positive ideal separation the formula is si plus under root of summation j equal to 1 to n vij minus vj whole square and this separation measure is calculated for each row now ideal separation for that i we need to introduce a new column here so si plus now we will see this example how to calculate it for car one we will calculate here the cost is this car one this this these options these are vij and vj star for this column vj star is 0.1 for this column vj star is 0 0.106 for this vj star is 0 0.08 for this vj star is 0 0.255 so S1 plus equal to under root of 0.116, this minus this whole square plus this minus this whole square, this minus this whole square, this minus this whole square and take the under root of all. Then take the under root. So this value comes out to be 0.197. This is equal to 0.197. 7. Similarly, we calculated it for other car as well. Car 2, car 3 and car 4. SI negative. SI negative it will be calculated if we we'll calculate like this. This minus this. Similarly, SI negative. This is calculated as this minus SI negative is calculated as this minus this whole square plus 
this minus vj minus whole square this minus this whole square this minus this whole square and the under root of all so this comes out to be 0.173 similarly we can calculate for car 2 car 3 car 4 for all options these are known as SI plus and SI negative that is ideal separation, positive ideal separation and negative ideal separation. Once positive ideal separation and negative ideal separation are calculated, the next step is to calculate relative closeness to the ideal solution. Relative closeness. Relative closeness, the formula for that is SI negative divided by SI plus plus SI minus. So, First, we have calculated here SI plus plus SI minus. So this plus this, this is equal to this, this plus this equal to this, equal to this, like that we have done. The next step is to calculate CI. CI is calculated as this divided by this, this divided by this, this divided by this, this divided by the plus. So this is, this comes out to be this. Once CI is calculated, now we can rank the options. Step number 10. The more value of CI that is relate, the relative closeness indicates the more preferable the option. Best option will be 0.518 because this is having more CI value. So this will be given as the rank one and the next car four that is 0.483. So this will be ranked as two. Similarly, this will be ranked as rank three car one and car two is ranked as rank option number four rank number four so if we have to select one car so we'll go for car four using topsis method thanks for watching and in case of any question or doubt you can comment